Hi everyone, and welcome to World Revolution Channel. This is book summary to Game Changers, What Leaders, Innovators, and Mavericks Do to Win at Life by Dave Asprey. Let enjoy the video, please subscribing to my channel for more great content like this. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. Overview Game Changers, What Leaders, Innovators, and Mavericks Do to Win at Life by Dave Asprey If you've ever wondered how some people seem to do it all and still manage to live balanced, happy, and successful lives, then this book is for you. Author Dave Asprey's model includes high-performance techniques to help you become smarter, faster, and happier, and each of these methods can help you reap long-term rewards. In this book summary, you'll learn expert ways of dealing with stress, overcoming obstacles, and building the life of your dreams. Discover the methods top performers use every day to achieve unparalleled success in business and life. Introduction If you had the chance to sit down with hundreds of the world's most successful people across a variety of fields, what kinds of questions would you ask them? Would you want to know how they achieved their success and what advice they'd give to anyone hoping to emulate them? Fortunately, author Dave Asprey has done all the work for you. Drawing on his conversations over the past five years with dozens of high achievers, including Tim Ferriss and Ariana Huffington, Asprey zeroes in on the practical habits and inner traits that propel people to the next level. What matters to them? How do they spend their time? What goals do they set for themselves? Whatever you're hoping to achieve, the expert advice and game changers can help you do it. Everyone has different goals on the path to self-improvement, such as losing weight, starting a company, writing a best-selling book, or being a better parent. No matter what area of your life you want to focus on, the techniques in this book will help you improve your performance. When you sharpen your mind and body and allow them to work together, every part of your life changes for the better. Asprey asked each of his subjects about the most important tools that fueled their achievements, and out of his nearly 500 conversations, their answers usually fell into one of three categories, tools to become faster, smarter, or happier. Not only will such tools and strategies help you achieve individual victories in your own life, they'll also help you contribute more meaningfully to your work and community. Smarter Did you know that it's possible to increase your intelligence? Only a decade ago, most people wouldn't have believed this was true, but recent advances in technology and pharmaceuticals have made it a reality. You can upgrade your memory, enhance your focus, and increase your productivity through the techniques Asprey shares. Using tools like meditation and visualization, you can maximize your brain power, so you can better achieve your goals. There are many ways to increase your brain's energy supply, exercising for increased blood flow, eating healthy to keep your glucose levels steady, and getting enough sleep. Mental exercises can also enhance your ability to focus and think creatively. Asprey believes in the importance of prioritization, that is, concentrating your brain's energy on only the things you value and love the most, and not dwelling on thoughts that drain you and weigh you down. Instead of focusing on negative experiences or circumstances you wish you could change, reserve your brain's energy for the parts of your life that create joy passion, and fulfillment. When you identify what matters most to you, you bring clarity to your decisions and can invest your energy in what you value. Being intentional about the thoughts you allow to take up energy in your brain helps you be more productive and creative. And did you know that there's also a proven way to physically rebuild your brain at the cellular level? A few decades ago, scientists discovered neuroplasticity which is the brain's ability to form new brain cells and neural connections throughout one's lifespan. These fresh pathways in your brain support the formation of new beliefs and habits and can even help you learn more quickly. 
If you suffer from past traumatic events or feelings of low self-esteem or negativity, neuroplasticity can help your brain heal itself. With training, and sometimes professional help, your mind can learn to swap out painful thoughts and feelings, so you experience the world in a more positive way. You can also harness the power of the brain's natural neuroplasticity to consciously change old, self-defeating beliefs and replace them with confident, hopeful thoughts. It's easy to get stuck in mindsets that hold you back, and you might find yourself ruminating about your past failures or spiraling into anxiety. But with practice, it's possible to recognize and change the thoughts that are limiting you. For example, if you have to give a major presentation at work and you're experiencing stress and doubt, it helps to repeat positive phrases to yourself, I'm having a lucky day. My presentation will be amazing. Everyone will be impressed by my hard work. Even if this feels unnatural at first, research shows that optimistic expectations are a reliable predictor of achievement and the words you allow yourself to believe can significantly impact the outcomes of your circumstances. Finally, one of the best ways to keep your mind healthy and ready for any challenge is to remain intellectually curious. How do you make sure your brain is always forming new cells and neural pathways? Keep it engaged by learning new skills, exploring compelling ideas, and discovering fascinating new people and places. Fresh experiences help your mind perform at its best and keep you sharply attuned to new opportunities for growth. Faster Becoming faster is all about helping your body run as efficiently as possible. When you do this, it provides you with enough mental and physical energy to accomplish whatever you set out to do. If you're feeling sluggish or exhausted, you can learn to maximize your physical potential and gain control of your health and well-being. Getting high-quality sleep is one of the best ways to enhance your health. The key isn't to sleep more but rather to find ways to make sure the sleep you get allows your body to fully rejuvenate. After interviewing dozens of physicians and scientists, Asprey notes that your natural hormone levels affect when your body is most likely to experience its deepest, most restorative sleep, and this timing is different for everyone. Therefore, being an early or late riser has nothing to do with the quality of your sleep. What matters most is attuning your sleep schedule to your circadian rhythm. When you work with your body's natural rhythm, Hormones are released at the most optimal time for deep sleep. You can figure out your unique rhythm by letting yourself go to sleep and wake up whenever you want for a span of about 5 days. At this point, a general pattern should emerge to help you set up a sleep schedule that feels natural. Like most experts, Asprey advocates getting regular exercise. Although many highly successful people participate in competitive, intense sports, like cycling, triathlons, and bodybuilding, these often lead to injuries and inflammation. If you're one of the few who can pull off this kind of activity, that's great, but don't feel like you have to exercise intensely to reap the benefits. Instead, move your body regularly through gentler exercises, such as walking, yoga, stretching, or Pilates, to increase your range of motion, support functional movement, and promote mental well-being. Take every opportunity to incorporate more movement into your life. While intense bursts of activity and daily workouts help you stay fit, they won't do much good in the long term if you're sitting for 14 to 16 hours a day. The final piece of the puzzle is food. 75% of the high achievers Asprey interviewed said that what they ate, or didn't eat, was one of the top three most important components of their success. Although there's plenty of debate as to what diet is best, Asprey suggests you do your own research, consult with your doctor, and come up with a plan that works for you. Instead of telling you what to eat, Asprey focuses on how to approach food and eating. 
First, make sure you eat only when you're hungry for food and not something else, like emotional satisfaction or stress relief. Second, eat like your grandma would, replace processed and fast foods with nutritious whole foods cooked at home, if possible. Additionally, getting adequate protein at every meal ensures that your blood sugar won't crash and send your hormones into overdrive. And lastly, don't neglect your gut health. Consume foods that nourish your microbiome, such as onions, garlic, leeks, asparagus, yogurt, and kimchi, so you'll benefit from better stamina and focus. Happier. After improving both your mind's and your body's capacity for peak performance, you're ready to focus on becoming happier. And while it's easy to believe that chasing money is the best way to bring contentment, Asprey suggests this isn't true. Although he made more money than he'd ever dreamed of, Asprey never truly felt fulfilled by money alone. The truth is that making money beyond a basic safety net won't make you feel any better. In 2010 researchers from Princeton University set this threshold at an annual income of $75,000, so this is a good starting point to consider. There's no doubt that those who are below the threshold are more worn down and stressed from having to worry about paying for housing, medicine, food, and other necessities. However, studies show that once your basic needs are met, happiness doesn't increase with income. Nevertheless, it's tempting to get caught up in the cycle of what Asprey calls conditional happiness, or the belief that you'll be happy when you meet the right person, get a raise, or move to a new place. This type of mindset actually prevents happiness because you're always postponing it until the next condition is met. When you think this way, you're focused on what you don't have, or what you don't have yet, instead of fully enjoying what you do have in your life. How do you gain happiness from what you already have? You live within your means and embrace your non-financial assets, like your health, interests, and relationships. The joy you derive from life is priceless. One of the best ways to increase your daily dose of joy and contentment is to achieve a sense of inner peace. Asprey advises beginning with the ancient practice of meditation and using breathing techniques to maintain an inner state of calm. These exercises increase the amount of oxygen in your blood, distributing it to your brain and muscles and enabling you to heal more rapidly from stress. In addition, meditation can actually decrease the stress hormones in your body. Meditation is a proven way to become more aware of your thoughts and impulses, quiet your mind, and refresh your spirit. Nearly all the successful people Asprey interviewed mentioned meditation as one of the top factors in their success. Getting outside and immersing yourself in sunshine is another way to increase your happiness. When you spend time in nature, you boost your mood and your cells create more energy. In fact, some studies show that time in nature is as effective as pharmaceuticals at treating depression. Smelling the flowers, feeling the breeze, and seeing the sunlight do wonders for your system. Taking time to escape from your domesticated surroundings allows you to get in touch with the wonder of the world and gives you a new perspective on life. Another proven way to promote inner contentment is to cultivate gratitude. When life is going well, it's easy to look around and feel thankful and optimistic, but cultivating gratitude is a commitment to finding beauty in your darkest moments as well. Nearly everyone Asprey interviewed said they wouldn't be where they are today if they hadn't looked back on their struggles with thankfulness for the lessons they'd learned. When times are tough, resist the urge to fall into self-pity and negativity. Instead, Train your mind to seek out the positive. With regular practice, you'll become more sensitive to the little things that bring you joy in life, and all those little things add up to a lifetime of happiness. Summary In this book summary, you've explored some of the ways the world's most successful business leaders, entrepreneurs, and thinkers become their smartest, fastest, 
and happiest selves. You've learned how to enhance your intelligence through meditation and neuroplasticity, increase your physical resilience with proper sleep, nutrition, and movement, and enjoy a happier life by prioritizing experiences, relationships, and gratitude. Using these tools, you can transcend your limits and perform at your peak every day, bringing the best of yourself to everything you take on. Not only will you change your own life, but you'll make a difference in the lives of those who matter to you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. See you in next videos.